Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on HDTM programming with R for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we will see how to implement key HDTM programming concepts using R. We will take a quick look at the SAS program for the same concept and then see in detail about the R program. Please note that the complete explanation of the SAS program for this concept is available in a separate playlist. I will leave the link for it in the description of this video. In this video, we will see how to create DTHFL and DTHDTC in HDTM DM dataset. So here on the left hand side, you see the SAS program that can be used to create DTHFL and DTHDTC. On the right hand side is my R program. So before we jump into the explanation, let us take a quick look at the specification. So here we have the specification provided for DTHFL and DTHDTC. So for DTHFL, it says populate as Y if there exists a record in ES with EO term is equal to death. So populate using uh, for DTHDTC, we are being asked to populate using EOS, EOSTDT raw where EO term is equal to death. So we'll have to filter the records where EO term is equal to death. And from that record, will you have to use EOSTDT underscore raw variable and convert it into ISO 8601 notation and then populate DTHDTC. So there can be some cases wherein some specification authors prefer checking other pages like adverse events to get the uh, death rate but let's assume that for each death happened on the study the information will ultimately be captured in the uh, end of study form with EO term is equal to death so let's proceed with the program so let us see the SAS program first in in a quick manner so what we are doing here is we are using EOS dataset creating a dataset called EOS01 we are filtering only those records where EO term is death and then creating this DTHDTC variable by using EOSTDT raw. So we are first converting it into numeric format using input function and date 11 in format. And then the resulting numeric value is converted back into ISO 8601 notation. So we're using YYMMDD 10.0 format. So we know that the when only date is present, YYMMDD 10 dot is equivalent to the ISO 8601 notation. So we are making use of that existing SAS format to create DTHDT in ISO 8601 format. So we are converting that and then we are merging this information of EOS01 which corresponds to the death information into the parent data set which is demographics which has a record for all patients participated in the study and then we are using if b then dthfl is equal to y so let's assume that uh, there is no assumption so for the subject who is present in EOS01 death has occurred and then we are populating it has Y here for all the subjects who are present in EOS01. And in the final step, we are keeping only the required variables of study PT and the derived variables DTHFL and DTHDTC. So let us now move on to the R program explanation. So let's load the R Tidyverse program on the left hand side and the R Tidyverse intermediate data sets that are getting created here on the right hand side. So let us jump into the program. So what are we doing here? So we are using EOS data set and creating a data set called EOS01. And within EOS, we are adding some new variables using mutate function. So DTHDT is C is being created. How is it created? So we are using EOSTDT raw and converting it into a numeric date value by specifying the format of input uh, date variable. So if we take a look at EOS data set, the date is organized in terms of day slash three character month abbreviation slash and then year. So D stands for day and small letter B stands for month in three character abbreviation and capital Y is for year in four digit format. So we are specifying that the 
date is formatted in this way as in a character variable and we want to use this format and convert this EOSTDT underscore raw to a date value and then the resulting date value is converted back into a character variable using format function so this is kind of equivalent to our put function in uh, SAS so format the numeric date value the resulting format has to be in the form of year hyphen to the character month hyphen and two character day so we have we are converting the date value into ISO 8601 notation and we are also creating a temporary variable called in EOS and assigning a value of one for it we will see why that is being created in a further step and then here we are filtering only those records where EO term is equal to death so in SAS we would have used low case or upper case conversion to check whether to handle all the uh, case issues uh, in the text variable so here we have a function called str to lower in our tidyverse stringer package so we are making use of that to convert the value to lower case and on the right hand side we are checking for the lower case death so, and then with this we will get only those rows which have death in EO term variable and then we are keeping only the required variables which is study pt dth dtc and in EOS so which is a temporary variable we have created to identify the records coming from EOS where EO term is equal to death so in the next step we are pulling this EOS01 data information into democ data set using left join function of tidyverse package so democ left join with EOS01 based on the values present in study and pt using the by is equal to of parameter of the left join function and then we are passing the resulting joined data set to mutate function to create two new variables one is dth dtc and the second one is dthfl so as discussed in some of the previous videos what happens is if a record is present for a subject only in demog but not in eos01 for all the variables that are coming exclusively from the second data set or eos01 in this case will have the value of na set to the subjects who are exclusively present in demog so if that is the case so we want to change it to character null string so in sas character string uh, null string is considered as a missing value but in r it is not the case so missing values in character value variables or the numeric values are they are represented with na so those nas we are converting it into character null string and then if it is na otherwise we are using the existing value from dth dtc so and then we are creating uh, dthfl so we are making use of in os is equal to uh, temporary variable which we have created in this step to check whether the record is coming from eos or not so in sas merge we can make use of the in is equal to data set option to create a temporary variable to identify the subjects or records coming from a particular data set we do not have an exclusive way of uh, doing that so we are creating that temporary variable in a prior step as a permanent variable so and we are making use of that and then if inner voice is equal to one we are assigning a value of y to dthfl otherwise we are setting it to missing so and then finally we are keeping only the required variables in this dm01 data set which is the subject uh, study and patient number and then dthfl and dthdtc which are the two derived variables so let us take a look at eos data set here if we see we have one record with the EO term is equal to death so we should have one subject with death date populated as 5th jan 2010 so let and on this same subject dthfl should be y so let us take a look at output and see if that is the case yes this is the case for 1003 death occurred and dthfl is populated y and dthdtc is coming in iso 8601 notation of 5th jan 2010 so let us finally compare our data which we have generated using sas versus using r so if we see here of all the records one subject had death and that was 1003 and the date and dthfl are populated in the same way in using the, both the codes of sas and r so thank you for watching and keep learning